Hi, this is Mike Daniel with uh, StoneLife.org and StoneCast. Um, I got up this morning with a little bit of a headache and uh, some allergy stuff, and I didn't have any appointments scheduled today. It kind of felt like a treat because I didn't feel like getting out and doing much. So I just threw on a grungy uh, t-shirt and didn't shave. And uh, When afternoon hit, I thought, you know, I need to get out of the house a little bit and change of perspective, keep working. So I packed up my computer and came to a, a little local restaurant, a coffee shop, had a fun little cup of coffee and but it's a place that I don't normally come to and I picked it because um, I thought I, it's very unlikely that I'll run into somebody that I uh, would know or any of that and um, it was interesting because as soon as I walked in I ran right into um, uh, a pastor that I think very highly of and wanted to, to connect with and we've shared some some prayer requests but we've never gotten to do much together we had a neat little chat we kind of laughed at uh, some things going on uh, here around us at the the restaurant and he got to encourage me I got to encourage him it was just nice to to reconnect with him we would wanted to for a while and just never moves to the top of the list we kind of joked about that a little bit too and uh, and it struck me uh, how I wasn't prepared for that uh, walking in. I was actually kind of avoiding that. There's a passage in Luke uh, chapter 13, and I'll read it to you. Jesus, in verse 35 of Luke 13, talks to his disciples, and he says, Be dressed and ready for service, and keep your lamps burning like men waiting for their master to return from a wedding banquet, so that when he comes, not if, but when he comes, and knocks, they can immediately open the door for him. And I want to encourage you, God is about to do something in your life. He's about to call you and invite you to participate with him in something. And when he knocks, when he invites, when he calls, I want to be at a place where I'm immediately ready to seize that opportunity to embrace whatever he wants to do with me and in me and through me. Not out of obligation or condemnation if I don't, uh, not because it earns me anything, but because I want to participate with him however possible so that I might grow into a more intimate relationship with him experientially in my life. And that's how he chooses to do it, is by using me and bringing me into opportunities to participate with him. Uh, so spiritually speaking, not that you always have to be uh, wearing a, a great shirt or always have to shave every morning or whatever, uh, but more spiritually speaking, are you ready for what God might do? Because if you are, then you can be sure that he will, and he'll do it first in you and then through you by his grace and for his glory.